Hey YouTube, Kenny here from True North Social. Today I wanted to talk about an app that I really like uh, for Instagram. There's a few that I'll probably do in some future videos, but I want to kick it off with one that is one of my favorites for Instagram stories or feed posts, either one. Uh, for a while now I've seen a bunch of Instagrams that will have like collage posts that when you scroll through it's almost in one image on two separate frames. So if you're using like a collage, you slide and it's the same image going over. And I really like that look and feel. So I started searching around on the App Store for something that could help me do this without having to do it all in Photoshop because that's going to take hours. Um, and I found this really cool app. It's called Scroll, S-C-R-L. I will leave a link to it uh, down in the description of the video. But yeah, I want to uh, pop this open here for us and we can take a look at features that I like about it and why it's so helpful and why it's such a big time saver. So let's pop into it real quick. First of all, the uh, the icon, hopefully we can see it, looks like this guy right here. It's two little squares. And in here we have a bunch of template packs. We have the minimal two, referral, scroll essentials, minimal, plastic, paper, tape, instant, scroll, 95, film, film two. Um, but let's just open this up so I can show you what I'm talking about. So you can see there's a few different ones in here, but specifically what I was looking for when I was doing my research on this initially was things like this, where it's just one image scrolling across into the second uh, part of a post. And even cooler are some where you'll have some overlaid like this, like that. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, love it. Love it when they have kind of this like in-between picture. It's just a great way to showcase. And let's go ahead and pop one of these open. Let's go here. And you can see that there's all these plus signs. And the plus signs is where you just drop a picture into and then you can kind of move it around in the frame uh, and get the exact spot you want. So let's pop open our photos and let's go to a recent selection. Hold on, let's go to my albums and go to recents. And here, let's just use this from a recent photo shoot we did. So put her in there. Another one. Sorry. This guy right here. So you can have her kind of like in between each little shot that we took, each slight movement that, that she made. I kind of like that. And looking up, and then at the last one, fully sitting up. The other really cool thing that you can do here, right, like I was saying, is move her around inside. So if you wanted to like kind of get a zoom in on her, zoom out, maybe you want to pull it up a little bit. And uh, just this last one is basically in perfect frame, I think. which is great. And we'll just hit preview in the top right. And it's cool, we can do two separate pieces. We could do the carousel, like I was talking about, which on Instagram will just look like that. Love it. And then you could do it, preview it as a video, and it will slide across. So cool, so cool. Um, but yeah, great way to showcase like a collection of clothes or uh, pieces from a photo shoot like this. And then you could even have it be faster, you know, if, or if you're running an ad, let's say you want it at the 15 second mark or 20 seconds if you really want to have it, you know, go nice and slow if there's a lot of detail in photos. Um, but let's just say 10 seconds, save it to the camera roll, it renders it out. And then saves it into the, saves it in there, or you can just pop it open on Instagram, which is really cool. Let's take a look at a, a few other options. Um, can also do uh, the tape and the plastic ones are pretty cool. Paper's fun. Let's go to the paper. Um, what I will note is the way that this thing exports in terms of resolution. If it's not truly the aspect ratio of an Instagram story, so it's super tall, like this is even just this one right here is just a tall post, but it wouldn't technically be a full story. It will be slightly degraded, but it won't be too bad. Um, I think there are some sections to like save for more quality, um, but I didn't really notice a huge difference when I was adjusting those settings. But let's use this paper one. 
pop it open, go into here, albums, uh, recent, yeah, let's use him, and then maybe we'll do, let's do, I'm looking down, then let's do, I'm looking at the camera, and then let's do, I'm looking over to the right, love it. Maybe a slight adjustment on this one. Oh, maybe we zoom it in a little bit, bring it down. That's cool. Preview it. Preview it as a video. Scrolls across like that. But yeah, again, if you start to, you know, if we save this and we want to post it to the story, which I do it anyway, even if it's slightly degraded, who cares? It still looks great. Um, but it would be cool if it was crystal clear. Let's, let, let's wait for this to render. Hit done. And let's pop open our photos and take a look at how that goes. Yeah, it looks great, but notice when I do a slight zoom in on it, it does want to take it down slightly, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. So that is scroll for you. Seriously, like a game changer, because this used to, I used to request this for my team all the time. Like, hey, I want to do. I want to do the slide where it's the same image over two frames and we would have to do it in Photoshop or like go on in photo elements or something and download a template and create a whole thing. It was a production. Um, but yeah, absolutely loving this app. And I'm going to bring you guys some more apps that I like to create content with for Instagram. Um, there's a couple of videos, uh, basically like for Instagram stories, it'll create a video with either moving text or moving images, or not moving images, but pictures or video. And there's a few of them that do it, but there's a couple of them that do it really well. So I'll follow up with you guys on that. Um, if you like this, like it, subscribe. We love having you here. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.